Good afternoon, Ride Share drivers. Lancey Peterson here, Ride with Peterson. I'm going to give you instructions on how to create your own ride share calculator. So if you have a spreadsheet, it could be Excel, it could be numbers from Apple, it could be sheets on Google or whatever else. This is how I created the spreadsheet. Okay, you're gonna have two columns. You have column A and column B. And then you have your rows. So you have rows one through 15. All right, row one will be blank. Row 15 will be blank, just to keep you so you can work with it. Now, if you don't wanna do that, hey, it's your spreadsheet. I'm telling you how I made it and then you make it look the way you want it to look. For column A, row number two, you're gonna put in value of each rider. That's the text. For column, for row three, Riders each hour. Row four, pool multiplier. Row five, total riders each hour. Row six, hours worked. Row seven, riders each day. Row eight, Days worked. Row nine, weeks worked. Row 10, daily revenue. Row 11, weekly revenue. Week 12, monthly revenue. I kept row 13 blank as a, a way to put the um to to highlight when I want to recalculate everything all I have to do is put um highlight that particular row um um cell a1 and that way everything calculates when I fill in values so I kept um row 13 empty and then row 14 will be annual revenue now Sorry about that. Got to, you know, eyelashes. In row number one, and, and column B, cell three. So in B3, you can change the value of each rider. So to begin, you can put in $1 for that. In cell B2, I mean, I'm sorry, in, in cell B3, you're gonna put the number of riders each hour, so you can change that number. In this particular case, I put in three riders each hour. You figure a different rider every 15 minutes. For cell B4, B4, you're going to put in what you want your pool multiplier to be. For now, I put in one, but that number can go anywhere from one to, to four because you can put one person up front, three in the back. So you have a, a pool ride of up to four people. And the pool multiplier is where the magic happens remember how uber was always telling us you can make more money by doing pool rides well this is what it is um number cell number b uh let's see b5 will be the total riders of each hour that is going to be a result. So you don't 
fill in anything there. You're going to do a calcul. You're going to do a formula on that, on cell B, um, on on cell B B B five. Um, on cell B six, that's your um, number of hours worked. You put in a number, the number of hours you want to work in a day. Cell B7, that is going to be a formula because that's going to calculate the total number of riders you had each day. Cell number B8, the number of days worked. That, you're going to put a value in there. So you can say how many days a week um, you you work. If you work. If you want to work every day, you put seven. If you work six days a week, take one day off, take put in six days. Four, five days, four days, three days, two days, one day a week. However many days you want to work. Um, B... Cell number B7, no, I'm sorry, cell B9 will be the number of weeks in a month that you work. So if you decide to work only one week, two week, three weeks, or four weeks, that's what you put there. The remaining cells will be um, formulas because those are going to be a results. So um, let's see, B, B10... B10 will be a formula. B11 is a formula. That's for your weekly revenue. So let's go back. B10 is your daily revenue, and that's a formula. B11 is your weekly formula. And that's that's that 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 turns to it's a formula also. B12 is a formula. That's your monthly revenue. B13 is blank. And B14 is your formula for your annual revenue. Now, I'm going to give you what the formulas need to be for these various cells. So remember, B2 is a value. You just put a number in there and that's going to be a dollar value. And however much money you want the value of each rider to be. Now, keep in mind, you are ignoring minutes time uh, minutes worked. You're ignoring the mileage. You are only putting a value on the riders. That's it. Just the number of riders you process in a day. And you know, the interesting thing is this. It doesn't have to be people. If you do package deliveries, your riders can be your packages. If you do food deliveries, it could be the number of bags you take from one restaurant and deliver it to another place. Um, if you are picking up bags of um, supplies from the hardware store, if you do, if you roadie, for example, it could be the number of um, of, of products. Or, or whatnot. So the value of each rider can be, you could just say the value of each unit. So whatever units of whatever you have, you do that. The purpose of this, of this, of this exercise is to disregard the value of the mileage and the value of tips and the value of time. All you want to do is put a flat value on each rider or on each delivery bag you take or um, whatnot, and then you go from there. Because if you focus on the number of riders or the number of deliveries, the mileage and the time 
will be the gravy that makes the sauce will be the sauce will be the gravy or the sauce that makes the meat taste good it's a theory but this is how i'm like you know hey it it, won't, it can't hurt but help it can't it can't hurt but help to find out if it actually works it won't hurt to find out if it works but in this case i think it will because um then you'll say okay in order to achieve a certain goal, you simply plug in the numbers and it will tell you how many riders you need to pick up in a day in order to achieve your daily, weekly, monthly, and annual revenue. So instead of saying, oh, I gotta do $200 a day, what you do is you look at, hey, I need to do, I need to do 35, 35 riders a day. Well, how in the world am I going to do 35 riders? Well, you do that by picking up three riders an hour. I think it's easy to do three, three riders each hour if you're working 12 hours each day, which I figure the average driver is doing, and you're working six days a week. You do that and you should achieve your financial goal. My goal is $200. I set the value of each rider at $6 because when you drive a hybrid or electric vehicle, you receive an additional dollar for each ride. Now remember, each ride is actually each rider. So if you have a pool trip, that means each person you have in your EV or hybrid vehicle, that person is an extra trip. And that means you're going to get an extra dollar for every one of those people. At least that's what I think. I don't know because what they might do is they might say, hey, you, it depends on that when you complete that trip for the last person. We'll see how it happens. That's why I want to rent the car and prove this happens. But if you get an extra dollar for each rider you pick up during a pool trip, um, that's huge. It really is. If you, if you work, if you work the numbers right. Um, so, so we'll, so we'll see if um if it works or not. Um, but based on what I did here so far, if I value each rider at six dollars, I do three riders an hour, and I have no pool trips, and I work twelve hours a day. That means I'm I'm processing 36 riders a day. Each day I'm generating $216. My weekly revenue is $1,296. My monthly revenue is $5,184. And my annual revenue is $62,208. But in order for me to prove that this is the truth, I need to rent an electric vehicle and I need to do some rides and see exactly what happens. And instead of saying I have to do $200 a day, all I'm going to look at and say, hey, I need to pick up three people every hour. I think that's a little easier to do. I would love to hear your comments on this. I'll catch you on the next video.